Hi beauties, welcome to Ivy's kitchen, welcome to Ivy's space. So, today's video I'm going to be doing come cook with me and I'm going to be making moin moin is uh, also known as beans cake. So, and this is an African delicacy like a Nigerian um, food that I like to eat, that I love to cook and that I like to make. So, um, I'm going to be showing you guys the stuff that I have. Or how I make my momoi and I understand that a lot of people dread to make momoi because it takes a whole lot of time and I'm going to show you guys how I can how you can cut your time when it comes to making momoi and washing your beans so before I get started in case I feel like I'm talking so fast okay slow down in case you're not subscribed to my channel yet and this is your first time coming across my content thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm grateful and please push the subscribe button down below and also push the bell button down below so that you get a notification whenever i upload a video and if you're returning thank you messi that you are coming back to watch my video and i am really really and very very grateful so let's get right into it I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash my beans. I know a lot of people dread to make my mind because you have to soak the beans for a couple of hours and you have to wash the beans. Like the skin has to come out of uh, come off the beans himself. And I'm going to show you guys how I wash my beans in less than 30 minutes, guys. Yes, less than 30 minutes. So I'm going to be showing you guys. I use blender um, to get my beans ready. And I'm just going in here and get my beans. So this is where I store my beans. I got this container from my local dollar store and it's about $3. So they have containers like this. So I store all my beans, rice, um, what else? Oatmeal, cereals. I store them here. So I'm just going to take this beans and I'm going to pour some in here I already washed my beans I'm going to show you guys later but I'm going just going to demonstrate to you guys on how you can wash your beans so you want to take your beans you want to pour a little in here and just like this you want to pour just a little and you want to add some water and you want to um, just add water just water that is just above the beans like more water than the beans then you want to push the blender and you want to crush it like a, like you're crushing ice so you don't want to blend it you don't want to parade it's just crushing the ice i mean the beans to tiny tiny pieces so that the skin can come off then you're going to pour that in a strainer and you're going to start to strain it out as if you know the way you usually will strain out your beans so that is how i wash my beans it's very fast it's very quick and it's super 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 easy i i think i will have a clip of my former video i'll try and put a clip in here so that you guys can see on how i do that all right so let's go let me show you guys um what i'm working with right now and let's go so guys this is all my stuff my beans is already washed as you can see it didn't take me a long time to wash my beans i have my dry prawns like crayfish i have my onions and i have my red pepper you can put tomatoes in here if you want to but really i don't like the uh, i like to use uh tatashe which is red pepper so and also i'm going to be putting some eggs and i'm going to be putting some fish the fish is just me i love fish i love mackerel fish if you know me you know i love to cook with fish and i prefer fish than meat so i'm going to be adding a little bit of fish it's not a lot just to um to this my mind so and here is my salt here's my maggi and this is the onion i'm going to be using this is the onion i'm going to be using to um, boil my fish i already have my chopped pepper out what i do is when i buy my pepper i usually chop them and i'll put in a container and i store it in the fridge so that whenever i'm cooking i don't have to constantly cut peppers because no nah, not not all the time i don't like doing that so this is an easier way for me to keep everything ready whenever i want to cook 
So yeah, let's just go get going. Um, I have my two pot on the stove. I'm going to be using one for fish and the second one I'm going to be using to boil my um, egg, all right? So, the wine that you're going to use for the fish, you don't want to ha have so much water in it. Just a tiny bit of water um, that I usually use to boil my fish. Let me put the camera closer. So, so for the fish, I'm just going to add the fish to my water. I'm going to turn this on first. So I'm going to put my fish in the water. I think I right, I just put it on medium. My fish in the water. And I'm going to pour my onion, my maggi, going to put my Maggie in here. I'm going to put my Maggie and I'm going to add a tiny bit of salt, not too much. And I'm adding my red pepper. I'm writing, I'm adding my red pepper. And this pepper is really spicy. And I don't like to add too much pepper. I'm not a big fan of pepper. Like enough that you know what? You can taste it in your mouth. So, and I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to let it work. And I'm going to add my egg in here. I'm adding my egg in there. I'm going to cover these two up and I'm going to let it boil and cook. And when it's ready, I'm going to take it up. In the meantime, I'm going to be blending all these things together and you guys will see how I do it. going to go ahead and blend all my beans, my um, red pepper, onion, and prawns, dry prawns, crayfish, big crayfish, and also I have also my chopped pepper in here. So I'm going to blend all of this together while my um, egg and fish is boiling. water in here that I'm going to be adding to my beans when I'm blending it so that it's easier for me to it's easier to blend so yeah this water is going to be here I'll take one cup of beans I don't like my moi moi my beans cake hard I love very very soft beans cake I love beans cake that is really really soft I'm not a big fan of uh, these cakes that are hot. No, I love my cake 
like my moy moy really 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 soft like really soft by the time it, it, it cools down anyway it gets um it gets harder so I love my moy moy really soft so yeah so I'm just adding a little bit of water and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going ahead and blending this and I'm putting it in in puree or creamy.
so now it's completely done look at it this is finish it's the end and now i can bring this out and serve it so guys the moi moi is done the beans cake is done i'm going to bring it out and let it cool down i love mine to be hot when i'm eating it the kids on the other hand not really much so i'm going to bring it out as you guys can see the stove is finished i mean the big the oven is off i'm going to take I'm going to use one of this to bring it out and then cut it on here. And the other one here. So this is the finish moi moi as you can see. It looks amazing, it looks so good, it's yummy, tasty. And it's very easy and simple to uh, to make. I'm look. I'm just going to grab a knife so I can cut it off for you guys. So it's very simple and easy to make. It's um, no time consuming at all. If you're using the blender to wash your beans, um, but if you if you're the kind of person that likes to wash your beans and make your uh, wash your beans and blend your beans in a regular way, traditional way, go ahead. But I like to use the blender to do my beans and yeah i'm just going to cut it off and i'm going to have a piece mm, it's really soft guys it's still hot it's going to get a little bit um harder or firmer if it's cool a little bit but this is how i like to eat my moi moi this is how i like to eat my moi moi i'm going to take a plate and i'm going to serve it in a plate I'm going to show you guys how you You can have the moi moi, the beans cake with um, gari or bread. Um, I tend to like to eat my moi moi just like that. I don't like to eat it with bread or what is it called? Gari. So I just like to eat my moi moi just like that. So I'm going to just take a piece. Of the moi moi, no, more than a piece. I took more than a piece, guys, because I love moi moi, it's one of my favorite food. I don't eat it all the time, it's very high in protein. And yeah, so now that I'm on my weight loss journey, I tend to eat protein a lot, and moi moi has been. Um, a saving grace for me when I want my protein and this is how it look guys let's get a fork and have a taste of this moi moi guys leave a comment down below if you like moi moi and how you make your moi moi oh my god mm. Mm. happy food dance like I do my dance mm. it is really really good I love it it's not too spicy perfect and one thing guys that I noticed um, when it comes to me using beans I tend to buy my beans in Walmart because I feel like the one I buy in an African store that has a lot of stones and ones that are not good in there so if I buy in a Walmart there is no stone or anything they already sorted out so I don't have to do that extra job is sorting out the beans so I tend to buy my beans from Walmart or any other grocery store that they sell black high beans so they don't you don't want no stones or sand in your moi moi so I tend to buy my beans from a regular grocery store like food, a price shopper food basic Walmart they usually have black high beans there and it's already sorted, you don't need to do much. Mm. Guys, you want some? Here. Look at how gorgeous this look. Ooh. I love my mom. Mm. <coughs> mm. 
no talking and eating i mean so guys that is all about this video i hope you like this recipe i hope i hope you like the cooking video and i'm going to see you guys on my next video please push the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed yet and if you're returning thank you so much for watching push the button down below so that you get a notification i'll see you guys bye mm.